Tuesday today, I just woke up. That's not true because I woke up earlier and then I had to help my boyfriend get to work because he has just been in surgery. So I needed to help him get, get his pants on because it's on his foot. So I needed to help him get his pants on and then just get ready for work. And yeah, then I went back to sleep and I just slept for like two hours. I am so tired. Honestly, I sleep so bad during this pregnancy. It didn't happen at first, but when I hit the like five month mark, it has been tough, you guys. It has been so freaking tough. And I keep telling people that and they tell me, no, just wait. Uh, you'll see, once the baby comes, you'll never get any sleep. Don't say that to people, like don't say that. Like, why would you think that was uplifting for me to hear? Why would you kick me when I'm already down? Maybe I'm just sensitive, but why? Why do you need to tell me that? That's basically all I hear. It's just... Just wait. Oh, just wait till the baby gets here. You won't be able to be on your phone or watch TV or you'll be so busy and... You guys... I don't know what my skin needs, but it's just breaking out around my mouth, especially on my chin. It's really annoying, I don't really know what to do about it because I do wash my face every single night. Also, I have this piece of hair right here. And it just kind of sticks out, but it kind of goes this way. Weird, okay. Um, but yeah, like I double cleanse every single night and I never go to bed with makeup on. I feel like it might just be the pregnancy, but yeah, I feel like I am really good at taking care of my skin. And I do drink quite a lot of water. Maybe not enough. Maybe I should try drinking more water. But I've been thinking about trying to cleanse my face in the morning as well. So I think for starters, I'm just gonna cleanse my face with water because I don't want to dry it out. Yeah, basically I'm just gonna take this cotton pad and then just wipe it across my face. Also, just because my face has been so unclean and has been breaking out ever since I stopped using birth control and... Okay, that's nine months ago. Wow, okay, crazy. That's like nine months ago and I really noticed it in like the fourth month of pregnancy because I just kind of thought that it would go away but it kind of didn't. So I bought some new skincare and I bought like Korean skincare. How does my face get so dirty <laughs> during night time? Like I just sleep. And so yeah, I bought that skincare and it has really helped a lot. I really feel like it has cleared my skin up a lot. Like to the point where I even think that it's better than when before I was on birth control, but I don't know. I get to switch it when I was in the States. I was in Boston for like two months. I think it was in 2019 and I went to Boston Community College. <laughs> also, I saw a girl on TikTok using this Polish Choice exfoliant every single day and I started out using this every single day and I feel like it was really nice for my skin but then I read that you shouldn't use it every single day so I've just kind of dialed down and now I use it like every two to three times a week but she says she uses it in the morning and I think I'm gonna try that because 
Yeah, I don't have that many steps in the morning, so I think I'm gonna try that. The only thing she said was to make sure you're wearing sunscreen because, of course, it is an exfoliant, so you should be careful. I feel like that was way too much. I also really wanna try the vitamin C ferulic serum from La Roche Posay. I have no idea if that's how you say it, but I really want to try that one. But if you know, you know, the price tag on that is so expensive. That is so expensive. And I already use vitamin C each morning and I feel like it does improve my skin a lot. I feel like it really helps my skin just look a lot brighter and shinier. Oh, I forgot to put on eye cream. I said in the last video that I was going to go into work on the day that I was filming, but I was kind of having second thoughts about that. Um, I called my boss, so I'm a grown up and I have responsibilities and that is what I realized. So I called my boss and I was like, it kind of fits me better if we can just have the meeting on Wednesday. And today's Tuesday, so that's tomorrow. And I think that's okay. Um, the only problem though is I kind of have a hard time getting up in the morning, but I just need to think about once I go in there tomorrow and I fix all the stuff I need to fix, which is a lot. And that is also why it's so unmotivating for me, but I need to just get it over with because then I'm literally just free to do whatever I want. And I feel like I just need to get it over with. I am gonna bike there because I don't wanna spend money on renting a car and it's just like so unnecessary. Also, I've, I'm thinking about getting a microphone for my camera or maybe just like a wireless microphone that I can use for my camera and my phone as well because I'm filming on my phone right now and Honestly, I kind of prefer it. I like when I am editing the videos, I can tell the difference. Like I can tell the the quality is obviously much better when I'm filming on my camera, but I really just enjoy the conveniency of just filming it on my phone because it's so easy and then I just already have it on hand and I can just airdrop it to my computer and then edit it and yeah honestly i'm so annoyed because i wanted to get the canon g7x and i didn't want to get the newest one like the newest version because i felt like it wasn't taking as good pictures as the old one but maybe it was better for filming and i was like oh i don't know if i'm gonna use it that much for filming but I am going to use it for pictures and stuff like that and I never use it for pictures because I don't bring it with me and when I want to take a picture I just don't have it with me so yeah it's, that's just not really convenient for me so I don't really use it for that but I should um, but when I do film I do notice that the autofocus is really bad and I feel like the audio is easier to work with on my phone because I don't know what it is but I feel like maybe the microphone is so good in the camera that it just picks up everything and I have to sort it out in like when I'm editing the video and that's so annoying I feel like when I just use my phone the audio quality comes out much better in the end because I don't have to do as much editing if that makes sense. I really should have gotten the new one because you could buy a microphone for the new Canon G7X and just plug it right in. And I thought you would be able to do that in the old version as well, but you can't. And that's so stupid. And I didn't even think of that. So I should have gotten the new one, but I got the old one and that's really annoying. And I really just wanna get the new one now but it's so expensive. So I'm gonna wait. 
I'm gonna try to make it work. Also, I feel like once I buy a new camera, it's probably gonna be like not a vlogging camera, like a better, bigger camera. If you have some suggestions on good microphones, please let me know down in the comments because I really wanna up my game on this YouTube channel. Oh, I just got a really cute comment from one of my best friends. <laughs> Watch my heart. Okay, I'm not gonna do anything else on my skin today because I am just gonna walk around the house, so I don't really care that much, but I feel like I need to go make myself some lunch because it's like noon. Yeah, that's it for this morning update, you guys. Okay, I'm sitting here editing the video from the weekend or yesterday and I just drank the last soda and soda is honestly the only thing that I'm craving right now so I didn't feel like going to the supermarket to get some more so I ordered some with delivery that's just how lazy I am and my boyfriend is about to get home and he's probably gonna ask if I need anything from the supermarket but <laughs> Don't worry, I've already taken care of it, so all good.